This video is brought to you by Smash Balloon. Today, you'll learn how to embed TikTok videos on your WordPress website, and we'll cover two different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. Hey there, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. And sometimes using TikTok will help you reach your audience. So let's dive in. The first method is just by embedding it on a post or a page. So say you have just one video that you really want to showcase on your site. The easiest way to do that is go to the post or page where you want to embed it. For instance, I'm going to just create a quick post for my site. Find the URL of the video that you want to embed. So for instance, this is the one I want. So I'm going to take that URL. I'm going to come back to my post, and then I want to simply right click and paste that in there. And the cool thing about it is WordPress will automatically go out and embed that TikTok video into our post. So now it's in, we can simply publish it or add the other information that we need to add for this post. And then now we can publish it and now we can view it on our site. Now that was simple and easy. You can just in paste that information, but it, you can also click on the plus icon to add a block. And in here you can search for TikTok if you want to do that. And it just brings up the TikTok embed and allows you to paste it in there and embed it as well. It's the same difference. It's a little bit faster to do the first way where you simply put it on a new line, paste it in there and you're good to go. But this works as well if, if you need that little extra step for yourself. And that's an easy way to do it on a post. Now, if you want to put it, say, if you have a sidebar area and you want to put it in your sidebar, then let me show you how you can do that. We can go to appearance widgets. And from here, we're going to add that text area to our main sidebar area. So we need to search for the text, scroll up and put it where we're wanting it to go. From here, we simply want to paste the URL again. And once we click save, you see it's already pulling it in and embedding it. So then that will be on our main sidebar area as well. And now if you're really getting into TikTok and you want to display all of your TikTok videos on your website, then let's do that. We'll need to install a plugin. So we're going to the plugins area, add new, and we're searching for quad layers, TikTok feed. This is the one we want. So we can install it and make sure you stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great. Now that's installed over on the left. We see a TikTok feed area. We can click on this and it's welcoming here and then go to feeds area. And this is where we want to set things up. And you see already it has created a feed for us. It's with hashtag. The feed is the hashtag and that's the name of the feed here. And then we could just copy this short code and then paste that wherever we want it to go. But if you want to create your own, just click on the plus for feed and type in the hashtag or the username that you're wanting to bring in. And then you can choose the masonry or gallery style that you want to showcase. And then down here, you can choose how many number of videos to display and then the columns that you want it to do. You have a little bit more items over here that you can choose what type of video by default, original or dynamic. If you want to display video controls or if you want it to automatically play when it comes up, these are all the items that you can choose from. You can also choose to have the video pop up when they click on the video, it pops up into a gallery and it can also choose to display the profile or the hashtag at the top as well as a few other items. You can also choose how to align them here. A little bit more, you can choose how to showcase the button underneath to encourage them to go to your TikTok feed as well. So once you go through all of that, then we can click save. And then now you have a feed that you can embed on your site. So for instance, I'm going to copy this one and we'll go to pages, add new. You can do this with post or a page. And because that's a short code, you want to click on the block, the plus block. And from here, we're looking for short code widget. Once that's in there, we can right click and paste that short code that we had. Now we can publish this and then we can view the page. And that's real quickly pulling in all the images or all the TikToks that are bringing in with the hashtag of WordPress for this. And then you see when you click on it, that's when it will open up into a new area and then you'll see it and it'll start to play. And then when you scroll all the way down, it's only showing the first 12. 
when you scroll all the way down, then you have the button down here that we created that says view on TikTok, and then it'll take you to TikTok itself. And just like the embedded one, the first one, if you want to add this to a widget, you can do that as well. So we could go to appearance widgets and in the text, we're going to keep that widget, but then I'm going to scroll down in the text area. I'm going to start a new line and then I'm going to just paste that short code there. And then once we save it, we can check it out and see what it looks like on our site. Another great way to integrate your social media profiles with your website is by using something like Smash Balloon. Smash Balloon makes it super easy to integrate things like your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube. To get started with Smash Balloon, just head over to smashballoon.com and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP to get the best discount on Smash Balloon. And thanks for watching.